to seek the Lord while he may be found, and to call upon him while he is near. The Lord declares in his word that all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Rewriting God's law with a veil nothing and no human consensus can alter his standard. By his standard, we have all sinned, we have all gone astray, and our guilt is there before God. The God of the Bible is a just God who punishes all sin. This great God who made us and who governs all things is the God before whom we must stand. It is appointed unto men once to die and after this the judgment. And when the text says, or oh, taste and see that the Lord is good, it's speaking of a need to be delivered from the guilt of sin by seeking the Lord. We also need deliverance from the tyranny of sin. You may pretend that your present wretched life is great and you may tell one another that this is so but the wages of sin is death sin is leading you to everlasting judgment by god in hell all sin every sin Every breach of God's law in thought, word, and deed deserves the damnation of God. And no human consensus can overturn the law of God or the sentence of His condemnation. You need deliverance from the guilt of sin before God and the tyranny of sin over your life. But when the text says, O oh, taste and see that the Lord is good, it indicates that there is a free offer of mercy and forgiveness in the Lord Jesus Christ. But it says to sinners who think they can never be other than they are, that there is hope, that there is mercy, that there is forgiveness for all kinds of sinners who seek the Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord Jesus Christ bore the guilt of sin in the place of sinners. He was born, manifest in the flesh. God become man. The Lord Jesus Christ never sinned. He never had the sinful thoughts and words and ways that we are inclined to. The fact that you say you are orientated in a particular way does not mean that God must alter his standards. God defines right and wrong. There is one lawgiver, that is God. Individual orientation does not redefine sin and righteousness. By God's standard, we have sinned against the Lord. And the Lord Jesus Christ came into the world to save sinners by bearing the wrath of God in the place of guilty sinners. This is the Savior you need, the Savior you must seek. This is the only Savior 
there is for neither is there any other day given under heaven among men whereby we must be saved and the Lord Jesus Christ sends his message of salvation to you this day hear then the word of the Lord hear ye men of Sodom to hear the word of the Lord turn from your wicked ways turn to the Lord Jesus Christ because he has promised blessed is the man that trusted in him abandon your narrow-minded Christianophobia and seek the Lord Jesus Christ. You, you may have despairing thoughts, despairing that you can be any different to what you presently are. But there is a God in heaven and a Savior at the right hand of the Father, the Lord Jesus Christ. And he, God, has appointed a day in the which he will judge the world in righteousness by that man whom he hath ordained, whereof he hath given assurance unto all men, in that he hath raised him from the dead. It is this risen Savior you must seek. Stop pretending that evil is good and good evil. Stop pretending that your sins are not real or not great. Stop trying to redefine right and wrong to suit your convenience and to justify your sin. But seek the Lord Jesus Christ, the Savior of sinners, who says, Come unto me, all you that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest.